market changes every time and it is very important to understand the market before you start the business. If you're planning to start a small scale business which guarantees you a good profit and good number of customers, then this is the right and the perfect time for you to start with a Kirana store or supermarket. Today, with the increasing population in India, the purchase is also increasing and that's why this creates this huge and great opportunity in the market. Hello and welcome to IndianMoney.com. I am Juhi and today I will tell you how to build a successful Kirana store. I will first tell you about what a great opportunity Kirana store or supermarket ha has. And then after that, I will tell you the seven secrets of the most successful grocery store owners. So you have to stick to the video till the end so that you know the secrets. But first thing first, let me tell you what kind of market, what kind of market opportunity does Kirana store or supermarket provides you. Currently, the retail market size or the retail business in India is about say 40 lakh crores. Now say that we have a population of 140 crores and there is about 35 crore household in this country. So with that calculation, if we take out the average, the average spent by each household in this country is rupees 100 per day on a Kirana store or supermarket. So this makes the return over of any retail store or supermarket business approximately to rupees 3500 crores. Now that's a really great opportunity. Let me tell you that retail business is something that is the anytime business. You know, even during the COVID, the industry which was running aggressively was retail business or supermarket business. Because we always need it, you know, it's our daily need. We cannot live without it. And the best part is that the profit margin is 5 to 25% approximately on these businesses. A very obvious question would pop up your mind, which is what kind of investment would it require? Now, let me tell you something that this business completely depends on the way you want to run it. You want to run it on a smaller scale, larger scale. It completely depends on that. The investment completely depends on that. Now say you want to start a small grocery store in a rural area or urban area, semi-urban area. Then you might require the investment amount of 3 to 5 lakh rupees approximately. If you are doing this in a bigger scale, then the investment amount can go up to 10 to 15 lakh rupees. Say you are going even bigger, you want to uh, establish it worldwide or countrywide, something like that then the investment amount can reach up to 50 lakh to 1 crores. So as you can see, it is completely upon you how you want to start your business, on what scale do you want to start your business. Moving on, you can apply for mudra loan for starting a business for up to rupees 10 lakhs. And the good thing about this business, this market is that once your business picks up, there will be a good flow of money. I know you are eagerly waiting to know the seven secrets of the most successful grocery owners in India. So without wasting any time, let me start with it. The first one is the creative layout. Be it app, be it your store, it has to be convenient for the customers so that they do not have a bad experience. They have a good experience so that they come back to your retail store, to your supermarket. Today, we enter a store we get everything we want in one place, so we don't need to wander around here and there, moving from one shop to another to buy one thing or two thing or three thing. We get everything in one place. Make your store more convenient for the customers. If there is a best selling item in your uh, store, which is popular in the market, make sure that you keep it up front because there are many customers who come for one thing or two thing. You don't want them to roam around in the retail store. Otherwise, they'll not take the thing, they'll just return. So it's quite important that you are creative with your layout. It's simple and it's convenient for the customers. Moving on to the second point, which is go digital. Create an app for your supermarket or a grocery store because that way the customer need not come to your place. They'll order it online and it's easy for them. It's easy for you also. 
Now, say if the app is not user friendly, then also it may create a problem. So make sure that the app you have created is also user friendly, is easy. Moving on to the third point, offer coupons and deals. Everyone wants to feel that they are getting a good deal. Talking about me, even if I go to a store, I see if there is a sale, if there is a discount, or there's an offer or a deal. So consider giving a deal, frequent deal to your customers, some offers, some uh, flat 50% off or up to 50% off, whatever kind of deal you want. Now, uh, say grocery store points. These are the things that attract customers to your retail stores or to your supermarket. Moving on to point number four, which is treat your customer like your family. Now, back in the day when we used to go to the store, we used to get this personal experience. We used to create the bond with the store manager or the store person. And we used to be a loyal customer to them after that. So this is what even supermarkets or retail store requires. You have to create a bond with your customer. You have to treat them like your family so that they become loyal to your store and they come every time to your store to buy anything they want. Now talking about number five, the fifth secret, which is offer local products. Now see, it's very easy for any store to keep these international brands or even the national brands, the brands which is doing really good in the uh, market. But when you keep the local brands, this actually gives you a good impression in front of the customers. You can advertise these local brands via email or uh, banners and stuff so that the customers get more excited to come to your store and for them also it is easy to buy any local stuff at one place and not roam around here and there for it. Moving on to the sixth secret is host sample days. Customers love special store experience and one such experience that you can offer your customer in a store is sample day. On this day, let the customers try some dry fruits or fruits or any local products or any product that has been chosen by the management because sample day will likely bring in customers who will spend while they are in the store. Last but not the least, the seventh secret for a successful store is give your employees knowledge. There's nothing worse than having a bad customer experience or assistance from an employee in the store. So it's quite important that you train your employees, you orient a training where they are taught about the product, any deals or offers that has been given so that they can assist the customers properly and completely and the customer becomes so happy that they come back to your retail store or your supermarket. So if you follow these seven steps, these seven tips, these seven secrets, your grocery store will surely profit. These tips can help you create loyal customers, can help you create a brand, can help you increase your business in the longer term. These are tried and tested uh, tips. So you should definitely go and follow these tips for a successful business of yours. Now let us recap whatever we have learned in this video. So grocery business is one of the most guaranteed profitable business in India. And it has a huge market. We have a huge market opportunity. You can earn a profit of 5 to 25% with this business. And the investment depends on the type and the scale of business you want to establish. The profit margin and the cash flow through this business is really good. And you can always apply for a loan through Mudra loan up to rupees 10 lakhs. That's all for today's video. I hope you have learned about how to build a successful Kirana store or supermarket. If you want to learn more about grocery business, you can do that through our supermarket course on our financial freedom app. That too in six different languages. So click the link given in the description box and download the app. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified of every video we post. For more such informative videos on stocks, investments, farming and more, keep watching IndianMoney.com. This is me, Juhi Singh, signing off. Be wise, get rich.